That's what you call a bad soul tie. When you're in a relationship with someone, they lying, they cheating, they're 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 like causing you stress, they're talking down to you, they talking, they talking, um, they talk about you, they're putting you down, they're not they they don't uplift you up and they're always talking about your faults and your flaws and make you feel bad. That is not a healthy relationship, it's not a healthy soul tie. It's so dangerous when we have sex outside of marriage the consequences are so great and the enemy doesn't want us to know he wants to stay hidden he wants us to just walk around blind and to keep doing something because somebody say hey you should do this because it makes you feel good but there are consequences the bible talks about that the wages of sin is death and but the gift of god is eternal life there is a death that comes to that sin your joy, your peace of mind, your emotions. You know, when you have a soul tie, I love the movie um, Fireproof um, with Kirk Cameron because it um, they gave an example about, um, they took a salt, pep a salt shaker and a pepper shaker and, they, and he glued it together. And he was like, okay, and it became, those two became, those two shakers became like one shaker. And he was like, okay, try to pull it apart you know he's like i can't if i do i'll break both of them and they're like that's how a soul tie is when you break them when if, if he was to try to break them apart a piece of that soul tie would still be left the fragments would still be left on each one of the each one of the shakers this is how it is when we have a, a soul tie with someone. When it's in marriage, it's a good thing. It's a good thing. And we give and receive good things from each other. But when it's a bad, um, but it's when it's not in the bonds of marriage, when it's outside of marriage, then it's bad. Because now when you have sex with someone, whatever is housed within their spirit, Whatever demons are in their spirits, and there's a lot of stuff you don't find out about people. They don't tell you. If it's a one-time shot, you ain't going to know much. You probably won't even remember her name or his name the next day. But whatever, whoever people they had sex with. And I remember people used to tell me this example, and I used to be so grossed out, like, oh my gosh. But it's actually true. If you have sex with one person, and they've had per and that person have had sex with 10 different people, 20 different people, 30 different people. Because these days people have sex all the time with different people. It's no big deal. And they don't know about soul ties, so they don't go through any type of deliverance of getting rid of whatever they got. So they're gonna bring all those if that one guy had slept sex with 20, 20 females, and let's just say all those 20 females had 10 demons in them demonic spirits in them all of those demons that's in him is going to be transferred to you once you all become one so you see what i'm saying how dangerous these soul ties are and how dangerous it is to have sex and to fornicate it's very very dangerous that's why god put boundaries he put healthy boundaries there's so many people that are suicidal there are so many people that are they talking about schizophrenic they're talking about all this stuff with your mind and that's because imagine you had sex with someone and now you got all these evil spirits that's on the inside of you that you ain't had before you don't understand why you're thinking because speak demon demon speak you don't understand why your mind is so messed up why you know, before you used to be like all, like, um, you used to be like, like focused. Your mind used to be sharp. You're like you can just be, you know, ready. Like you were, um, confident. You were just a great person. And now all of a sudden you're just a wreck and it's all behind and you just can't put two and two together. And it's because you have to think back to the people that you've had sex with. If you never, if you hadn't, and that's why it's so dangerous. It's one thing when you're dating somebody and you're able to kind of like see certain things, like see different habits, see like he may get angry or you say she, she may um, be lazy, you know, whatever it is, but you're able to see. But if you had sex with somebody one time, you have absolutely no idea. You have absolutely, all you know is that you had sex with that person. It is very, 
very dangerous. And I beseech you in this video to let today be the day where you say no more. Where you say no more. Because it's, it's deadly. It's very deadly. It changes you. It's your when you when you're when those two fragments when they go their separate ways when you're when you are apart you're separated there's a pain and there is an agony that comes with that i heard so many people say oh i'm yeah i'm dating this um i'm dating this guy and you know we don't get along when we we're there together we're always fussing and we're always arguing but then when we're apart you know, it's like, you know, it's it, we, we miss each other and we wind up just getting back together. We just keep breaking up and keep going back together, keep breaking up and going back together. You know why? Because that soul tie is, is in your mind, your will, and your emotions. So your emotions are crying out to him. That oneness, that oneness, that what's inside, your soul wants that oneness again. And that's that pull that's going on that's there, that's pulling him pulling him you you're not going to be there's no freedom you're not going to be free he's living on basically he's living on the inside of you and she and you're living still on the inside of him i mean and, and it's so serious because if he's like a very angry person you're going to feel those strong emotions you're going to feel them yourself because you're attached in your soul take a time to think about this because this is a very deep conversation but like I said before, the enemy uses this weapon because people just don't understand that sex, that there's a, even in, um, there are certain cults that, that purposely have sex with people because they know that what's on the, the spirits that's on the inside of them will get to that person and it would change that person. They know, they know. It's not just that. And then there are some, some people that will have sex with people because they understand the bond. Because it's when you have sex with somebody, it's hard to tell them no. It's hard. It's like you're, you're, you're connected. You care. It's like it weakens you to that person. Look at um, Samson and Delilah. He had sex with her. And look, look at the games that she played until the point where he lost his anointing. Because it weakened him. The Bible warns us about this, to flee fornication, flee it. Joseph was wise. He ran. You need to do the same thing. You want a, a body that's temple. You want to be whole. You don't want to be fragmented. You can't go forward in a relationship fragmented because you got different parts of yourself that belongs to somebody else. It has to stop somewhere. And God wants today to be the day. God wants today to be the day, like right now. God didn't design you so that you can be in different pieces. He designed you to be whole. When you are fragmented, you are wounded. You are wounded in your spirit. You're wounded in your soul. And you want your soul to be healed. You want your soul, you want to be free. You don't want any demons on the inside of you. You don't want that. You want to be in a you want to be in a covenant relationship where you can have freedom to where you can have that freedom and still be a, a whole person. You want to be a whole person if you're a single person and you want to get married, you want to um present yourself as 